All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And if you are a Muslim, invite your four wives. If you are a prophet like Muhammad, invite your 13 wives. If your wives are a bunch of kids, we have candies. And I'm not sure if the candy is something good for them, for their teeth, because wives at the age of six, I don't think it's healthy for them. But anyway, if they like candies, we will give them candies. So today our topic, as you see in the thumb, a challenge for the Ustad. You know, in Indonesia, in case you do not know, they call their sheikhs Ustad. I don't know what is that. You know, I know in Arabic, it's Ustad. It means a teacher, you know. But uh, usually, you know, in the Middle East, we use it for somebody who describe him as a donkey, you know. Uh, but like the official use for it is a uh, teacher but nobody use it unless you wanna usually unless you wanna unless you are calling somebody who is really a teacher in a school you know or you are making fun of somebody uh, however those who stood there is something unique about them I don't know if you saw the the thumbnail on the, uh, in the video I made you will see that those who stood they have a bunch of books behind them and all the books are in Arabic. Let me see if I can, did I delete the image? Yeah, all the books behind them is in Arabic, but they are not Arab. Nobody there speak Arabic. So why the books are in Arabic? So today we will give the Muhammadan an opportunity to tell us why their books are in Arabic. Where is this? Where is this picture? I cannot find it no more. Maybe I searched. Yeah, I don't know I cannot find it, but anyway, you have it in the in the thumb. You can uh, uh, actually, I, if I open my channel, maybe I can download it from there. Uh, but anyway, that's not important. So they don't speak Arabic, but all the books in their shelves is in Arabic. And then you ask yourself, isn't it Allah in the Quran? He said. I never send a messenger except in the tongue of his own people, so they might understand. Who is an Ustad? He can explain to us the contradiction. Because you see, the Muhammadan, they say, if this book is made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Well, I don't know what this picture is about. Why those guys are holding their hands like this? Those are not Muslims in the right side? The one in the right side, not Muslims? They are holding their hands like this? Is are they, are they like a Buddhist or something? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess the one in the left, they are Ustad, which means they are Shish Kebab. And the one in the right, I think they are not Muslims. Is that right? Uh, Indonesian people, help me. Is that the case? The two in the right, they are not Muslims. Very nice picture, actually. I mean, sound nice. Yeah, but this is not the case. The second you say to them, Muhammad is a fraud, uh, then uh, the you know this peaceful picture is not there. All are Muslims. So why the other two? They are holding their hands like this. What the heck is that? Since when Muslims they do that? What what is that? I mean, Christians do that, Hindus, Buddhists, they do that, but uh, Muslims do that since when? That's something new. Why they are holding hands together? Anyway, let us not to waste time, because I'm sure that there's a lot of Muhammadan from Indonesia. I hope and I pray that the one who called me last time from Indonesia will not call me again. Come on, Christian Prince. I want the answer now. <laughs> You know what? Oh, Lord have mercy. 
Imagine you are a lady and your husband, he speak like that. Man! Christian friends! <laughs> Give me the answer. <laughs> I was going to vomit, literally. Unbelievable, man! What the heck is that? So at the scene, we open our Skype. Uh, now I must admit I never heard this argument, so did I. I did my best to refute, but uh, it was. Hoping you can guide me better. Okay. I was talking to a Muslim co-worker, started discussion about Jesus. I showed him in the Quran, Jesus was an earth, uh, has no earthly father. So it looked like somebody sent me in, uh, you know, a link. Uh, you know, I don't open links, but I know the title. So I will open. Uh, 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 let us see this uh, until we get the Muhammadan to contact us. If you are a Muhammadan, you are listening, please feel free. We will be happy to have you with us. And the topic, as you see, Allah is not an Arab, uh, is not an Indonesian. Uh, you know, he's an Arab guy, and uh, he said he never sent a messenger except in the tongue of the people. So somebody asked me to talk about this topic. I searched for the title. As you know, I don't open link. Uh, the wisdom from Jesus being born without a father. So uh, uh, this is uh, a Muslim and Christian, they are talking to each other about this issue uh, and the answer for that uh, I will read it here first here in Arabic and then I will use Google translation and I can post the link for you actually so you can use Google translation are you making fun of the way the Indonesian they speak well if the men of Indonesia they speak like this that is not a speech or speech of a man I never heard men speaking like that. Are you making fun of Indonesian how you speak? Half of my admins are Indonesian, you idiot. <laughs> I make fun of myself how I speak too. Do you have a problem? <laughs> you know, they try to frame you like, you know, are you? Like, what? Are you making fun? Stupid. How low? So they try to divert the conversation to make it about race. The same as the Democrat, you know. Do you like chocolate? No. See, he don't like brown color. <laughs> Stupid people. Anyway, so what is the wisdom of uh, Jesus is being born without a father? Here he's saying, thank you to Allah, Allah, you know, uh, praise be to Allah, alhamdulillah. Uh, the Quran gave the wisdom uh, and the answer for that by uh, the answer of the Ruhul Amin, the uh, trustworthy spirit, Jibreel, peace be upon him, to Mary when, uh, uh, when she was questioning how she is going to have a baby. He said to her, this is how Allah, he do things, it's very easy. And we will make that a miracle for mankind and a mercy from us. And when he want, he make a decision, he make it happen. And then, supposedly this is the answer. And then he jumped to Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, he says, this is as a sign for man, for the people, to show how powerful Allah is. I mean, do you see how stupid the answer? First of all, I hope this guy is listening. Let us give him a text. <sighs> if this is how Allah He proved that He can do things as a sign and as a miracle, first of all, there's no way to prove it because there is no witnesses. Uh, my mother, she can claim that she was a virgin. Your mother, she can claim that. How that can prove anything? 
That is a stupid answer. Same time, as long as Allah, he want to show people what he can do, how come Allah in the Quran, he says, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Do you see why we laugh at the Quran? If Allah is the one who can make Mary have a son without having a man or a boyfriend or a husband, can Allah have a son without having a girlfriend? If he can, then we will say, okay, well, you know what? Then he can do it to Mary. But the Quran confirmed, chapter 6, verse 101, that how can he, Allah himself, question his ability? Not me. He himself a question. You see, it's not me saying, how can Allah? Allah asking, how can Allah? And that again is showing us how stupid Islam is. Because if Allah is asking himself, how can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? That means he cannot have a son without having a girlfriend. As simple as that. If he can have a son without a girlfriend, then he will not say such a statement. Please, uh, please do not, Christian Prince, confuse the opinion of the scholars with what Allah uh, has established. My, my, I don't know, my friend, why you don't call me? You, you Muslims are very weird. Everything in Islam is established by the scholars and your prophet, and Allah is a mute God. Here we go. When Allah he speak, he make poo-poo. So the question was, why Jesus have a father, have no father? The answer was, it was a miracle, so Allah, he can show, show what? What show? Show time? I mean, is Jesus missing some miracles? Jesus, he made the blind see. Jesus, he made, he, he controlled the nature. He can tell you what you hide in your house, as the Quran said. He can make, uh, he can resurrect people from death. He can create from the mother bird. I mean, who cared about one more miracle or one less? All of this is not enough to prove who Jesus so the answer that Abdul they gave is a very silly and stupid, and this is again a contradiction. For if Allah is the one who can make Mary have a son without having a husband, well then Allah should be able to have a son without having a husband. I cannot say Allah have a wife, because obviously, hey, Muslims, Allah is a male or a female? Just watch the answer. Just to show you. You know the Muslims are like Democrat, you know? They are like, uh, you know? Like, who is a male, who is a female? Eh? You know, the second you ask them this question, they go in the limbo. Hey, Muslims, is Allah male or female? Just wait, 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 wait for the answer in the chat. Muhammadan, is Allah male or female? Hmm? <laughs> they are Democrats. <laughs> Joe Biden is one of them, and they are following Joe Biden. Hey Muslims, is Allah male or a female? Can a Muhammadan can be a volunteer to tell us if Allah is male or a female? If there is any Indonesian Ustad, Christian Prince, please give me the answer. Is Allah male or a female, Christian Prince? Hey Muslims. There's any, yeah. there's any Ustad in the bushes? Is Allah male or female? What happened to Sufyan? He was like a jumping like a rabbit a second ago. And he's, no, right now he's dead. Hello? Any buddy? I mean, don't force me to call Zakir Naik. It's early in Bangladesh. Christian Prince, first of all, it's not early. And now it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Hey, Zakir Naik, I did not even call you. How you jump online, man? It's a miracle. Allah, he can do miracle, and I can like on your knee. Yeah, yeah, Allah cannot do miracle. Hold on, you know. What are you talking about? You're a prophet. You received the Quran when he was doing poo-poo. If Allah can do miracle, he can wait. 
Can't you wait until he finished the poo-poo, the guy? Because in prince, first of all, the prophet was not doing poo-poo. He just took with him the clothes and he sat down, but there is no poo-poo coming out yet. And then I let it to him. Muhammad, what the heck? There's no poo-poo yet? So who is a Muslim when I answer the question? Is Allah male or female? Hmm? Any one of you, Muhammadan, have a Skype for any Ustad in Indonesia or any Ustad in the world? Anyone? There is any Muhammadan he have a Skype for any Ustad in Indonesia? Hmm? And by the way, don't worry, I speak Indonesian fluently. I mean, tch, orang orang. Huh? Let us, uh, let us switch, uh, switch uh, the, the language to Indonesian, which is my favorite language. You know, I will show you my skills actually in reading. You will be surprised. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, when I was reading to Indonesian first time, uh, many Indonesian actually converted to Hinduism after they heard me. Muslims, Christians, they left. I mean, they cannot believe how good it was. It was a miracle. You know, it was like, how you can do that? So look, look at this. You know, I'm just, I, I know you will be shocked if you are new here. Dia Bensipita, Bensipita, Lengit Dan Bumi. And then, you know, like Bumi, this is coming from Buma, like, you know, stuff. Uh, Baga Mana, Dia Mimi Bunia, you know, Anak Badahal Dia Tidak. Mimi Bunia, this is the this is different Mumi Bunia from the, like the first one. The first one is Mumi Bunia, the cousin, you know, this is like the other one, you know, like Mumi Bunia, like, you know, okay. So, like, uh, I'm just translating for you. Like, so Allah is saying here, uh, like, Dia Ponatika, Pantika, like, you know, uh, you know, he is the most uh, wonderful. Uh, Langit, like you know, you can find him in the zoo. Uh, uh, Bagamana, Bagiamana, like penguin, you know, like the penguin, you like the, uh, his uh, funny feet, you know, like he's happy, it's always. So, how can he find the dia? This is about dating, you know, like he can date. How he can date, a, you know, if you don't have a woman, you know, how he can have kids. I think it's easy. I mean, so you know, and then here it says, Dia Tidak Banamia Esther. Esther is, uh, you know, very well known. She is, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, girlfriend. Dia, uh, uh, I mean, how many times do you have to repeat the same word? Like, hold on, this is not the same one. This is Menapia, this is Menaponia, and this is Mino Minasipitekan. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is different, different. This is from the other side of the story, okay. Uh, you know, I did not. I did not. Excuse me. I did not read Japanese for long, so I forgot a little bit. Uh, okay, so uh, my my more memory is coming back. Let let me get some carrot. Hold on. Okay, okay. Now my vision is getting better. Hmm. Eat carrot. You will see. Read Quran better. Hmm. Seagal, oh, this is the guy who uh, went to Russia and he is, you know, just uh, sleeping with hookers, support Putin. Seagal, the American actor, who now is teaching the, uh, the the army of Russia how to play karate. I mean, this guy is an actor. Who in the world believed that this guy even he, he knew how to play karate? Anyway, so uh, Seagal, Sisutu, no, that's too much. Susutu, Allah, he is a Susutu. I mean, this is really, really, you, you cross the line. I cannot believe that Indonesian Muslims, they say Allah is a Susutu. Like in the Middle East, you know, we say like this guy is a Susu, like, you know, he's, you know, put eyeliner, wear a skirt, like Prophet Muhammad. Do we have any Muhammadan here like my uh, Indonesian? He's an Ustaz, he like to call us. If you are an Ustaz and you think you can, uh, you know, explain to us what's happening, so let us go to our topic. We, we answer this. So this is a stupid answer about why Jesus cannot, why Jesus don't have a father. Simply, I will give you a very clear answer why Jesus have no father from the stupid Muhammad himself. Muhammad, he said, 
every son of an Adam is a sinner every what every son of an Adam is sinners which mean you know the, the Mohammedan uh, they have a very funny stupid uh, uh, books in one hand they say to us they don't believe in the original sin in the other hand they say every human being is a sinner and not only that every son of an Adam is a sinner this is why Jesus is not the son of any Adam you idiot did you get <clears throat> for he is not a sinner This is why Jesus is not born from a man he is born of God. Who is the one who made Mary have a son? Even the Muslim, they say God. That is the Father. God did not sleep with Mary. No. The Word of God, the Messiah, is born through the flesh, through Mary. And this is the only reason, otherwise there is no other reason, it doesn't make sense. Your mother, she can be virgin. She claims, she can never, anyone, she can This is a miracle nobody can prove or disapprove. And most likely people will disapprove, well, people will laugh actually. You know, when you read the Quran, you will see that the Quran saying that uh, 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 the Jews, they said to her, how you do that? This is a stupid story, by the way, because the Jews, the Jews, they knew that Mary, she is engaged to Yusuf. Joseph, which means she is legally married. So how the Jews will accuse Mary that she did something wrong? How stupid you are, Muhammad, how much you know. Engagement in Judaism is marriage. The difference between engagement and the word marriage is the wife, she did not move to the house of the husband yet, but she is really married. So there is no way the Jews would accuse Mary and they question how the baby is born. Otherwise, the punishment is known in the Bible. Is that correct? The punishment for fornication in the Old Testament is very well known. And as long as the Jews, they learn that she is given a birth, the punishment will come. But nobody can punish her because simply she did not commit any sin by the law she is married now we go back sorry i, I was chewing the i was chewing the carrot call mimi hijab last time i called him he hung up on me five times coward i called him again he never answered potato muta boy and you don't want to call him now he might be stripping in the front of the Chinese embassy. So if you go to go for our topic about the Ustad, who they cannot answer us, how old the books behind them is Arabic books. All the books behind them are Arabic. And how the Quran says that Allah He never sent the messenger except let me take a screenshot from my thumbnail because I cannot find the uh, here we go even though it's going to be small tiny but it's okay. Let's try to zoom in in the picture to show you from the picture I, I took, even though I have text, I, I, I wish I can find the, the picture itself. But anyway, you will find behind them all the written of the books behind is in Arabic. And I wonder who, who of them he knew Arabic, who of them he can read the books, the books. Most of them, they buy those books and they put them in the shelves just to show off that they are. It's like uh, Sheikh Uthman, you know Sheikh Uthman? 
He have Arabic books behind him. He have a long, big shelf. And those, by the way, are expensive. Those books are not cheap. You need a lot of money to buy those books. So they buy the books, and all of them, they are in Arabic, but none of them speak Arabic. They try to appear that they knew Arabic. They try to speak, like uh, they, they say a certain word, like Alhamdulillah, Masha'Allah, etc., you know, but the second you, 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 know, you speak to them, you will find that they don't know Arabic. Didat himself, he never spoke an Arabic word. You know, once I was watching Didat, he have he was making a speech in the Middle East, and he have an, an Arabic translator. A person translate to the Arab because he don't he don't know Arabic. So how is a sheikh? All right. So they call themselves Ustad, but as you see, I challenge all the Muhammadan to bring their Ustad to text me live on air right now and let us see if they can really uh, give me a very easy I mean it's a simple question very simple any Muhammadan You remember the guy who left Islam speaking to me? Uh, look what he sent me a message in Skype. You remember this is the guy. He uh, called me and he, you know, he is a Muslim. Hey, I am a Muslim calling you. Want to call you, remember? Hmm? And now he sent me this message. I went to another Imam, I got him busted. <laughs> I mean, isn't it funny? They call you as Muslims and then they go to Imam to get the Muslim the Imam busted. I went to other Imam, I got him busted. He started screaming at me, thanks for setting me free. I feel so disgusted. I am going to another masjid now. I'm recording all my conversation if you want them uh, or we can talk about them they said you are reading wrong translation then I show him the Quran Lul. he said Muhammad never said uh, killed kill I started laughing hmm. well that's good send me uh, yeah give me the give me what they say to you but I don't know what language they were talking I wonder if I can understand if it's in English no problem that will be good. Uh, hmm. A person asking me a question saying, Christian Prince in Matthew 24, 14 says, and the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end would come. Uh, so this person he is a uh, questioning uh, why why the why the judgment day did not come. You know you remind me of somebody going to a restaurant, and then he go to the church and he try to compare between the restaurant and the church. Like in the restaurant, you ask for an order, and there is a limited time when the order will be there. It's not going to be uh, next century or next. Uh, so it's, uh, you know, there is a there is a limit for how long you can wait. But you are trying to compare what the Bible is saying to say, okay, now the Bible preached to all the world, and that is really uh, very funny because first, it's not to preach to all the world. There's many areas. Christianity are forbidden. Uh, there's many areas, even there is no have no internet. 
and there's no area in many area people never heard of even Christ and that can be found in Africa or even in area like Afghanistan or Pakistan some people think that everybody have internet everybody have a church everybody have access to the gospel uh, you know you can think what whatever you want but in reality that is not really what happened in the same time uh, only silly people will think uh, that the Bible speak about things will happen immediately why you don't read the rest or why you stop with the uh, you know uh, with 14 what about the rest what will happen next you know so uh, only only shallow people with the thinking they take only one phrase and say okay now it's going to be right no that's not what happened you know remember when God he decide to punish Sodom and Gomorrah if there is only 10 people left with dignity 10 just 10 God will not punish them just 10 so the judgment day as you see if you read the rest of the chapter you will see that people they are really doomed everything is doomed which means the earth becomes so ugly so disgusting and then the judgment day will come so you take only one uh, uh, you take one statement and you say how come did not happen yet that because you are a shallow person with the thinking of a child uh, you can't preach the gospel in any way but you know we can say now we can reach in the places in in by the internet but there is not everywhere in the world there is internet even in Iran you see you can go like watch a video about uh, villages in Iran they don't have electricity they don't have water they don't have schools they don't have anything do we have any Muhammadan when the Bible speak about prophecy when all of them happened not one all of them all right do we have any Muhammadan Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan would like to tell us how the Quran, you know the Muslim they claim, the Muhammadan, that the Quran have no contradiction, but we know that the Quran is the book of contradiction. How in one hand Allah, he says, Allah will never send and he never sent the messenger except in the tongue of his people. And how Muhammad is a messenger to Indonesia and Bangladesh and etc. Any Ustad? It doesn't matter how big you are. I mean, small, big, we take all sizes. Huh? Let us see what the Quran is saying, Indonesian Muslims. Kami Tidak Managuts Siurang Risuluban Risulubun. Melan Melani Kanan Dingan Bahasa Kaumonia Sobia Eya Dabat Memory Benjala San. There's a lot of an at the end. I mean, I think you can you can speak Indonesian very easy, just add an at the end, you know. It's like you know, just an, like you know, you know. Uh, how you do on this is English that is Indonesian now and uh, how are you on and if you are an Ustadan please call on and we will speak to you on right now now Han you know so uh, okay so the the Ngan you see at the end with the iron everything is it with that the Ngan Tarang Kabida Memirka Maka Allah Minu Satakan Siba Young. This is me. I'm very young, still young. You know, ask my mom. She's 17. 
dia kihi na di ki dan memberi yeah guys don't forget to uh, subscribe to our video you know uh, get a membership for free okay just to click the subscribe button this is what it says the Quran says that memory you see it memory memory I mean if you are are you are you an ignorant or what you have to do immediately to obey the order of Allah the Quran says memory Allah he says memory that's it so anyway to translate for you what it says Allah never sent the messenger except in the tongue of his own people so how Muhammadan became a prophetan for Indonesian in the Dingan, Tanga, Gida, Merka, Maka, Allah, Mimistikan, uh, Siba Young, Dia, uh, Kaha Kadiki, Din Membri, uh, Bento Nik, uh, Bento Jok, Bento Jok, what the heck is that? I hope nothing dirty. Anyway, Bento Jek, Jok, uh, Kabida, uh, Siba Young, uh, Dia, Dia, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> I think that's enough. I know, I know, I know. All of you are surprised how good I am in Indonesia, etc. Humbly, I don't like to talk about myself and things I can do. And you know what? If I can, you know, there's things I can do, and there's endless things I cannot do. This is this is how good I am. You know, I'm, I can't even count for you how many things I cannot do. You know, I'm unbelievable. Anyway, so <clears throat> do we have any Muhammadan now to answer us? How Allah? Let's go to English, man. I, I mean, I'm getting dizzy here. Uh, Bahasa, what is this language? It says Quraysh, Shihab. What the heck is that? What is what this is uh, what what he mean uh, Quraysh? This translation. Tidak Sirong Rasul bin Young Kimi Otos. What the heck? Don't say Otos. I mean, look. I mean, the sentence in the left is just ten words. The translation in the right is a book. Look, 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 look. All of this is to translate those 10 words. What happened? I guess this guy is adding, uh, you know, like some spice. Like what happened to me when I went to a Mexican restaurant. The lady, she was speaking in Spanish and she was saying God knows what. And I thought she is asking me if, she, if I like spice. And I was saying... Okay, you know, because I'm smart. Okay, and she keep talking, and I say okay, and then when I sat in the table, they brought me a tray full of dishes. This is not my order, senor. No, senor. Nobody speaks English. I'll just get the sulfate, you know. Senor, what senor, man? What are you talking about? What are those like 10, 12 dishes? I didn't, I order one. <laughs> Somebody translate to me. He says, she was speaking to you in Spanish, asking you if you'd like to try this and that and that. And you were saying, okay. <laughs> so this guy, he is supposedly, he is Indonesian translator. Translating 10 words in Arabic. And this is how good he is in translation. I mean, I thought the Quran is so clear. So why it is, what the heck is that? Is that a resume? I mean, the guy is writing the resume of Allah. All of this is a translation for this. Why? What the heck? Hmm. Anyway, anyway, let us go to English, man. English is easier. Shall I go to Le Francais? Huh? There is no need for La Francais. I mean, all of you are limited with knowledge and languages. I speak all languages, especially the ones you do not know. <laughs> anyway, so look what the Quran is saying. And we send not a messenger except with the language of his people. In order, <laughs> he might make the message clear. <laughs> so, so how in the world Muhammad became... A messenger for Indonesia. <laughs> Any Mohammedan can help me? Memory is giving? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to use the word memory from now on for donation. I don't speak about donation, but I will use it. Guys, don't forget to do memory, okay? 
it turned to be that memory mean giving. Don't forget the mem the memory. <laughs> now we are talking. It's time for memory time. Everyone here, you need to do memory. Okay, memory. Otherwise, no berry. Blueberry, blackberry, raspberry. Come with memory. You do memory, you get all the berry you want. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> do we have any Muhammad in here? Anyone? Why people are laughing? What's wrong with you guys? Come on, show respect for the, you know, like, you know the thing? I mean, what? So what if I talk like Joe Biden sometimes? So what? You know, what's wrong with you? Huh? Crazy people. No respect, no, you know, like, uh, no hummus. Okay, uh, you know what? Okay, I will forgive you if you do memory. <laughs> Any Muhammadan would like to contact us and tell us how Allah He sent Muhammad to Indonesia if the Quran confirm that only, only, and He never sent. And this is a statement He said after He sent Muhammad. He never ever sent a messenger unless He speak the tongue of the people. And the book have to be in the tongue of the people. And the reason for that, so they can understand. And actually, I like this translation. Look at guys. <sighs> Sorry, I did, that. did I whistle in your ears? I should not do that. I forgot myself. I'm, I'm in front of the microphone. Do you see what it says here? And then Allah mislead <laughs> who he wills. And he got who he wills. <laughs> this translation of who? Hold on, hold on. Oh, he, Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan, they are being honest? No way. No way. Did I read it right? So guys, Allah, Allah, he sent the message to make it clear. And then Allah, after he make it clear, he decide to mislead who? <laughs> what a, what a hummus. So Allah, he, look, he's serious. He wanna. He will never send you a messenger unless you speak your tongue, so you can understand, brother. Yeah, sound like Ali Dawa. Because, uh, honey, can you give me some grape? Some grape, please. Because Allah is going to mislead whoever He wish, and Allah He guide whoever He wish. I mean, I can't even find one man between them. So, I mean, don't you see that stupid contradiction? How Allah, he want to make the message clear. And this is why he is sending the message in Arabic to the Arab. And then he mislead who he will. What the point? Any Muhammadan? Any one? Any two? If you are a Muhammadan and you call me right now, you get a free memory from Indonesia. Christian Prince, I really need to talk to you. Please, okay, why you want to talk to me? Why? Somebody told you I am a doctor, surgery, immediately, like, uh, uh, you know, I never go to hospitals. I challenge CP. Okay, Roger. Okay, you won, man. You do not need to challenge me. I noticed right away that you play karaoke, and you won. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us and get a free memory? Yeah, Indonesian, they are not inviting Indonesian people. Where is the Indonesian invitation? Why you are not posting in the program? It's called the uh, uh, Taktuk. Takatuk, tak, tak, TikTok. I mean, even the name is stupid. TikTok? What the heck was that? And you know, by the way, TikTok is a very good program to the point even China is going is banning the program. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
Do we have any Muhammadan here who would like to join us? Hmm. Anyone? Who is a Muhammad and would like to join us? Yeah, I mean, those, those app actually, I would never install those things in my phone. All, all those things like, uh, you know, Facebook, Twitter, all of them, they spy at you. So if you want to if you want to use them, like I don't log in, in in Twitter using an app. If I want to log in, I log in using browser. Uh, do you know that it's possible for a human baby to be born of a virgin mother? A no, I do not know. No, it's not possible. Whoever said that to you is making fun of you. Unless you are saying like you can implement uh, a sp semen in the, in, a, in an egg, uh, fertilizing it without having sex. That is not really what we are talking about. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Anyone? Let's see if we have any text in Skype. Zero. Somebody asking me for autograph copy of my book from Nigeria. <clears throat> I know how I can do that to you. I don't know how to write, how to read. I'm like Prophet Muhammad. I have no idea how to write, how to read. But, supposedly, I am still a prophet. Actually, everybody knows that my previous account used to be called the Arabian Prophet. Unbelievable. How you can do that? Do we have any Mohammedan here? You know what, there's somebody contacted me to translate my book into Italian and I forgot to contact. You know, if we can get our book in Italian, that would be good. So we can put it in every pizza restaurant. Like you go to the restaurant, Tony, Buy Tony pizza and get an Italian translation of the deception of Allah. Is it possible for us to join live Dawah channel for a debate? My friend, uh, give me a Skype. I will call. I don't care. Don't don't tell me which channel. I don't care. You know, if they are men, give me the Skype. I will call them right now. There's no need for me to join, and they join. There's no need for this drama. Give me the Skype of the person, I will call him right away, if he is willing to talk to me. Kabich guys, we never say no to anybody. They have, they can be, anyone can be in his channel, call me from your channel, live on air. You are live, I'm live, okay. People will hear us, both of us. Muslim Christians, we will be the judge. Either they will laugh at you or they will laugh at me. Is that good? There is no need for the drama. Why you don't go there? I will call them. You give me. Here we go. I'm call. I mean, how I'm going to go physically? No. Oh, what I can do? I will call. Give me Skype. I will call them. Do we have any Muhammadan here? He have the courage and the knowledge to answer such a simple question. I mean, the same verse is nothing but a contradiction. In one hand, Allah want to send the messenger to speak only the language of the people. In the second hand, the Muhammadan, they say Muhammad is a messenger for all mankind. How that can function in the same verse? Same time, how Allah, he sent the Quran or the book in Arabic to make it clear, and then he mislead as he wish.
Hmm? Anyone? Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button. There's two bomb underneath. One it says like and one it says dislike. If you are confused, hit the dislike first so you can practice a little bit, like hit like 20 dislike and give me one like. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just teaching you how to use it. So like go to the dislike one, hit 20 times, and then go to the like, give me one, just one, because now you are ready to hit the like. You know, just I'm teaching you how to do it correctly. Do we have any Muhammad in here? Anyone? Why Muslim I cannot go in a Friday prayer? Will depend on the location. In some location they allow the women to be in the mosque, but they have to like they separate them from the men. Uh, well, we have an account. I, I did not install the app for TikTok. Correct, guys. I made an account. They they block my videos each time I post it. The Muslim they flag it. And obviously this TikTok is stupid. I mean, I did nothing wrong. They flag it, they take it down. They are fasting? No, they eat. You know, now they eat actually. They are not fasting. What fasting? Isn't it their uh, Ramadan is over? Their city Ramadan, the month of eating? Any Muhammadan? You know what? I'm going to punish the Indonesian. Hey, Indonesian. If you don't invite Indonesian to start to debate me, I'm going to flip my page now and start reading and speaking Indonesian. And you know what that would do to you? You know? You will wish that I do not know Indonesian. So I'm giving you one of two choices. Either you invite your those stars from Indonesia immediately, or I'm going to switch my page to the Indonesian translation and show you my skills. I'm warning you. You know, if you are if you are a person who use TikTok, what about you take my videos, make them short and post them there? Post, you post. You know who's holding you? Instead of asking me to do things, I mean you do it. I, I cannot go and do it. I'm not a kid, you know. I mean this TikTok for me is I find it stupid. You cannot defend indefendable Muslims no matter what you say. Okay. All right. So there's no stat? Anyone here knew any uh, Skype for any stat in Indonesia? Like an, a Skype is listed in their website or something? Anyone knows? The only Indonesian Ustad, he spoke to me, he's dead. The guy who promised me five BMW, you know? Christian Prince. I have a... F what the heck? I mean, even their, all of them, their voices, you know, those Muslim Ustad and uh, Sheikhs, uh, like Ali Da'wan, they have a very weird voice. And he challenged me to show him one verse in the Bible, it says that Jesus Christ is a Christian. <laughs> Christian Prince, I will give you five BMW if you can show me. I forgot his voice. I need to watch his video again. So I can't do his voice again. <clears throat> My voice is not doing good today. Five BMW if I can show him where is Jesus says I am a Christian. <laughs> You know, when they sent me this video first time, I was saying, man, this guy is going to give me a hell of a questions. 
I'm not ready for it. You know me, I'm like, uh, I need to take some vitamin. Where is my vitamin here? The carrot, here we go. Okay. Now I'm stronger. 5 BMW, if I show you that Jesus Christ, he said he's a Christian in the Bible. Are you sure? I hope I'm not the reason for his death, you know? I mean, after I made the video response to him, I think he this guy. CP, you want to fight? No, my friend, I cannot fight you. Fight you. You're strong. I'm not good in fighting. I'm not good in, you know, let me eat some carrot. Maybe I can fight you after I eat carrot. You want to fight? Somebody asking me, you want to fight? Huh. Here we go. You have no idea you're talking to whom. Anyway, do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call me and give me a very simple answer? Do you agree with this verse in the screen? Huh? Hassan Noor? Wow. Hassan Noor talking to Roger. Roger. Hmm. All right, all right. We have a lot of conversations in the chat. But nobody is willing to call me from the Muhammad. Hmm. What do you think of the our team threatening Ahmad? Just fought at them. Uh, report them to the police if they you know, threaten you. Get them in trouble. But you know, those cowards, they can threaten me. Here we go. Who dare? Potatoes. Potatoes cowards. You see the the this this cult. Uh, they try to intimidate you to see what kind of a man you are. There is people who they really get intimidated and they get scared. But there is people if you threaten them, they go in the opposite direction. Just try me. For me, I will not report anyone to the police. But if you are a man. Come to me. You should talk to Christians who are ex-Muslims and ask them to tell you how they escaped from the death cult. Well, sometimes we take calls from ex-Muslim, but anyway, I mean, mostly ex-Muslim happen in the in the spot. The Muslims they call me to defend Islam and they end leaving Islam. So why I need to call ex-Muslims? I make ex-Muslims. You kneel. You challenge me, my friend? So why you don't text me in Skype so I can talk to you, Mr. Yunil? As long as you challenge me. I mean, I, you want to challenge me by just saying I challenge you or you want to talk to me? Are you there, Mr. Yunil? Are you a Mohammedan, my friend? If you are a Mohammedan and you really want to challenge me, as you said, you do not need to make a drama about it, just text me in Skype and I will call you immediately. Okay, wait, I'm waiting. Guys, Yunil is a Mohammedan, he's going to call me and he told me wait and that means there is a big, 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 big stuff is coming. Invite your friends, get popcorn and Yunil is going to make it happen. <clears throat> Uh, can you write his stream? Give me his Skype. I will call him. What right? I mean, that, that, we are not kids, my friend. I'm not. I'm not a teenage to jump from like a monkey from place to place. You want me to talk to somebody? Give me his Skype. As simple as that. I am not a kid like them. 
those are stupid kids. They say whatever they want in their videos. You know, uh, I mean, uh, they are hilarious. One of them, he says the word Taraib mean penis. So if I call them the first thing, I will say to them, tell me about Taraib, which mean penis. <laughs> Taraib mean penis. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ah. Okay, we are waiting for Mr. Yunil. He is the man. He's the going to call me. Yeah. And then now we got nothing from Mr. Yunil. We are waiting for him. He challenged me. Maybe he's sharpening his teeth. You never know. Or maybe he's inviting some shakes or etc. You know. Actually, I prefer if he bring his shake with him or a group of shakes, because that will make it more, you know, uh, let us say, whole milk. And if you don't text or call, that means he is just a joker. If you are a Mohammedan and you like to join us, feel free. And I will be happy. Your Skype is not working. Mm. Guys, his Skype is not working. You know what? You remind me of your prophet penis. He said he was the most weak person between all mankind and boom, boom. And then he invoked his God, Allah, and then he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, he got the power of 40 men. So what about you do the same? You invoke Allah, the same as your prophet, he tried to fix his penis. He was the most weak person between all mankind. I don't know how he measure it, which means his is not even working. Even if you play... The anthem, you sing for it, nothing, we never stand. I mean, just to stand up for the anthem, still it's not working. So, you, you want to challenge me, I want to challenge you, you keep posting, and now your Skype is not working. All right, Abdul, take a hike. All right, don't forget to wash dishes before you leave. Hey, you lost your opportunity to get free memory. Free what? Memory, free memory. I'm not going to draw it. Are, are you kidding me? First of all, if I draw how Muhammad the private part was the most weak between all mankind, I will lose my license of an artist from the Artist Academy, International Academy in the United Nations Human Rights. I just created a new academy. Uh, <clears throat> Do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us? Where is everybody? Why I'm not getting lucky? I mean, what the heck is that? What I did? What I did? Shall I change the like the icon? Like put a picture of someone uh, like blue eyes, you know, like. Uh, and then you will see the Muhammad and they line up to the bit. What if I change my channel? I call myself David Wood. I mean, how come they line up to debate uh, upstate prophet David Wood, uh, Patterson? Here, psh, she's kebab. Nobody. Not even one. Somebody, his name Israel. The light he is telling you to give it to give me a like don't listen to him okay this guy he worked for the Mossad he is saying to you okay I will tell you what he is doing you know he is saying to you to click at my video and give it a light and he do that because in there when you click at the light it is uh, uh, is going to explode okay this is a Mossad agent you know he worked for the CIA in uh, Japan uh, so don't listen to him. Don't give it a like, as he said. All right? This is a trick. You click at the like. Boom. 
Hamas, you know? And then what? They blame Hamas that they are the one who did it. The decent, honest Hamas, they have nothing to do with this. So those Israeli people, they said to you, click at the like, fooling you, but the fact it's a nuclear bomb. You click at it, boom, you know? Unbelievable. Don't do that. Don't listen to them. Hamas, you know, Israeli, you know, like, uh, they, they want to blame Hamas for everything. They are very nice people, you know, they eat falafel, they sleep early, and they have a suicide belt because they are cold. <laughs> Do we have any Mohammedan? Uh, is Jibreel always posed as Dahil Kalbi? I don't know, sometimes Jibreel, according to Aisha, Muhammad, he saw Jibreel in his real image twice only, which means all the time he was Dahil Kalbi, yes. Only twice he saw him with 600 uh, wings. You know, I remember once, uh, I know I was really, uh, I mean, very young. So the teacher, he said, Prophet of Allah, he said Jibreel with 600 wings. At that time, you know, I like, okay, 600 wings, 600 wings, you know, what a big deal. But then, I think like a week after or two weeks after, I was reading the Quran to laugh at it. And then I found that in the Quran it says, there's no angels have such wings. So I asked the same teacher, how come the Quran say that angels have two and three and four wings? <laughs> and Muhammad, he saw uh, the, the, the angel with 600 wings. Uh, let me show you the verse just to remember it. You should see the teacher. Uh, where is the verse? Yeah. Uh, I forgot it's the number of it actually. Somebody is getting older. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, here we go. Uh, remember, Muhammad, he saw the angels, he saw the angel Jibreel with 600 wings. But the Quran. He mentioned that twice in the Quran. Sorry, in, uh, once in the Quran. Chapter 35, verse number 1. All the praise and thanks to Allah, the originator, and you know, they, they add things in the, not in the Quran, and only, it doesn't say that, uh, of the heaven and the earth, who made the angels messengers with wings, two or three or four, and then he says, and he increase in his creation as he will. The Muslim, they take, try to cover it. They says, okay, it says increase, increase. No. <laughs> increase in his creation, that means he can create more things. It's not about the, the, the wings. The wings, that's it. The sentence is over. Two and three and four. And I want to know how in the world the angel have three wings. Like I, I can let two go. I can let two or four go. But three wings? Where is the third one? In his ass? In his nose? So how Muhammad he saw the angel with 600 wings and the Quran clearly says two and three and four. Hmm? Hey, my friend, those are so small to know someone like me to make me known. I'm a Christian prince. Are you kidding me? No, you Christian prince. Why you don't go to those you know stream so people will know more about you? Do you know who I am? 
I mean, I am the nightmare of Islam. Every single country know about me. And you want me to go to stupid YouTube channel so people would know about me? They knew about me. They see me in their dreams. What's wrong with people? <laughs> this is a Christian prince. Mental people. Every single country know about me, even their police, their intelligence, their embassies. When you are asking me to be known, go to their channel. Do you know you are talking to who? Anyway, do we have any Muhammadan here? I mean, I receive email from YouTube every day and other day. The government of Pakistan, they block your video, which means the government of Pakistan, they are watching my videos and they block them. So if the government of Pakistan, they are watching my video, who is left? Your video is blocked in the country of Malaysia. Complain from the government of Malaysia. Oh. I did not receive, by the way, any complaint from China because I think in China I'm blocked. <laughs> YouTube is blocked, but I think like we have we we have where what where where is where is she? The lady she left Islam. She's an admin now in our channel. She's in China. Uh, I, I think they use a proxy. Last time I was in China, I tried to open my Gmail. It didn't work. Uh, I try everything. I tried nothing. Work, you know. Like if you have an app, you want to send pictures, images, it doesn't work too. You have to use only a Chinese app, which is called, I think, uh, WeChat, something like that. WeChat. Yeah. You should preach in Do You Yun. I don't know what is that. Where is Do You Yun? What is that? They use a proxy. Yeah, yeah. Man, I I, I posted a video of my a little short video of my trip in China. I don't know how many of you saw it, and you know, man, I really I was surprised how many Chinese in China. Mean everybody is Chinese. And I mean, I was like, I went from the airport, first person Chinese, second person Chinese, third person Chinese, fifth person Chinese, 10,000 Chinese, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. I did not see a single person is not Chinese. <laughs> and you know, the Chinese are building their country and the American are, are, are busy, who is a woman? <laughs> You know, when I went to China, in here in America, I mean, this is how the media tried to they make you believe that China is nothing, you know, yeah, China, you know. You go to China, you will find like, man, this is a China? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there is poor areas, but there is areas way better than America. So here they make you believe that China is nothing, it's garbage, it's, you know, they, 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 want, they want to brainwash everybody. Uh, and I guess every country in the world, they do that. They think they are the best in the world, you know, because you never go out. So you think, yeah, you know, the same as in the Middle East, you know, the Arab, they are very racist. They think they are the best in the world. Everybody else is a, is a piece of garbage. But the second you go abroad and you come back, you will notice how dirty your street, how dirty your neighbor, how dirty the walls, how corrupt the government. But when you grow there, you think everything is perfect and you think you are the best. <clears throat> anyway America is just a dreaming to go Mars I wish they will go to Mars maybe they can send Joe Biden you know like one way ticket to the moon you know I will give him a free memory <laughs> anyway do we have any Mohammedan anyone No, actually, China is a, you know, I mean, there is cities, they are amazing. I was shocked, surprised, you know. Yeah, America would never be, you know, uh, have cities like China. 
we are behind in everything. I mean, my internet, my speed is not even 10 gigabyte. Can you believe it? I went to Romania. I for ten dollars I got four hundred in my phone. In the phone, not in the even in the modem. We are behind in everything, and everything is expensive, getting expensive. You pay seventy, eighty dollars for ten gigabyte speed. The speed in, in in Indonesia is better. Here, Indonesian people, what is the speed there? Somebody tell me. What is the speed for internet in Indonesia now? I'm sure it's it's faster than here. We invite to my country. Where is your country, Leon? You invite me to your country, but you never tell me where your country. How I'm going to go there? Uh -uh. Oh, <laughs> all right. No, Mohammedan zero. Your hundred is two hundred Mimi MPBS. Okay. Yeah, America is messed up, you know. Do you think nowadays murders for Christians is necessary? It's not about, it's not you decide how, how it's necessary or not, because to be a murder, somebody decide to kill you because of your faith. So it's not about you deciding if it's necessary or not, you know. But if it have to be, it have to be. So what? You know, those who fear death, they never have life. Because you live like a coward, you die as a coward, and you are you never live. If you fear death, you, why you go in the highway? People die in the highway more than any other place, more than cancer, more any, you know. So uh, uh, if a human being, he is afraid. Uh, he will never enjoy life. Never, never. Because there's death in every corner, in every in your pillow, there's germs, in your mouth, in your food, in your water. So those who fear death, they never have a life. Live and be faithful and be brave. Then you enjoy your life and your faith will make you live your life the best you can imagine because a, per a person who have faith whatever happened whatever whatever happened doesn't matter he is going to be happy even when the day he is a crime you know there is a story which is uh, uh, just uh, you know symbolic for what what uh, what the difference between a faithful person a person who have faith in God and the Lord and a person who don't uh, there is a monk he was dying and he's very old the doctor he came to check on him and then he came out he told them he told the other monks your brother is mentally ill he lost his mind they said why what's your saying that he said i told him you have a few hours maybe to live maximum you're dying and he gave me a smile so they said to him why you don't go and ask him why he's smiling if he can't talk he will answer you so he went inside he became more curious and he asked him so i told you you would die and you know you were smiling, you are happy. You, how come? The monk answered, he says, My son, I'm waiting for this moment all my life. And now I'm going to meet my Lord. And you are telling me why I'm happy. So it's about how you see death. And then how you will go there. If you are afraid, terrified of death, you don't want to think about it. You are terrified. You are scared. You have no life, but a person who have faith, the Lord, he says, whoever believe in me and he die, he will live. Then why you will fear death? In the same time, a person who fear death, he's just a stupid. 
because simply what difference is going to make let us say I will live now 50 years more and they will go anyway I mean here we go uh, yesterday I was a kid I can't even I can't even feel the years so it, it, people are desperate to stay to get more you know of everything money uh, live longer and I don't care you know I live today I don't live tomorrow why I would care if I live I live if I don't I don't right and this way you enjoy your life uh, just yesterday actually one of you two days ago I told me I wish you learn, live 120 years I said why you want to do that to me why I want to live 120 years that's not good You know, can I Skype CP? Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, you can. If you are not, no. What do you think about the Middle East? If I say to you, you will be upset. <laughs> I don't want to say bad words, my friend. What Middle East? If I'm, if the Middle East is good, I will not be I will not be leaving. Uh, this is the most ugly land ever. <laughs> Do we have any Mohammedan here would like to join us? Hmm? They are so proud of their God when their God is not even exist, and he is silly, and he is so stupid, and he says stupid things. Do you remember the guy who called me from Africa and then know Nigeria? I think he is this guy. He uh, ultimate fault was texting him in Skype to give him the answers. I mean, can you believe it? How stupid their answers? How embarrassing? Knights of a Christ. I don't know if you have a mental issue. I don't know what's your problem. This guy, he want to prove to me that a virgin can give birth. And now he's talking about lizard. Where do those people come to me from? So you are comparing the Virgin Mary to the lizard? Are you mental? We are doing, you know, people are, they don't know what, uh, you know, Lord have mercy. And sometime, sometimes I want to be an atheist. I ask God, like, did you create those people, God? Why you, why you do that? Why you do that to me? Why, why you do that? What I did to you, what I did to you. What, what about you send them to different channel, not to me? Unbelievable. Uh, <clears throat> Do we have any Mohammedan? No, I saw this video of this gentleman, Ahmad X Muslim. He is a nice guy, good guy. God bless him. But you see, you will notice that the Muslim did target him because they find him in soft spot, a soft target. You know, he's an ex-Muslim, yes, but he do not know really much about Islam. And uh, they think, you know, even though he does not know much, but he is still getting them busted. Uh, but you notice uh, how many Muslims they want to talk to him. But nobody want to talk to me. Did you ask yourself why? The answer is very simple. Muslims only, they try to argue, or I don't want to call it debate because there is no such debate, uh, only if they find that it's possible that we can win against the person. Only that. If they knew in advance they will lose, they will never do it.
Muslim chat me Quran chapter 11 14 5 13 10 39 etc no no the whole Quran doesn't have anything about five prayer even the hadith says Allah gave uh, Muhammad a 50 prayer and then he asked him for discount so Muhammad did not receive it when he was speaking to angel Jibreel that is a stupid statement from those Muslims they try to find a solution as usual but the Quran is so simple saying that Allah he ordered him to pray in a certain time and uh, and the verse is very simple if they want to say to you, oh, that verse says uh, pray then, and this verse says then, that's stupid. That's not, doesn't even, that's true. Do you see it? It's three times. It's in the front of your eyes. Perform prayer in the two end of the day, not borders. I mean, the translators are stupid. The two end of the days, which means the, the, the end of the previous day, over by the, by the sunset, and the new day, uh, will start ending the previous day in the early morning uh, and then uh, you know and during the approach of the night that's it three times do we have any Muhammadan you know when when Muslim they give you an answer the Muslim assume that you are a donkey you do not know anything about the religion and they throw some verses on you and that's it it's solved that will work with people who do not know will work very well because you do not know Hassan Noor he loved Biden yeah I mean Biden you know I mean why you don't love him if you love Muhammad, you should love Biden. Both are stupid. They share many things. Biden, he touched kids. Prophet, he sleep with kids. So why you should not love Biden, man? Noor. I mean, it's, it's obvious. Do we have any Muhammad in here? How many different Qur'ans are there? According to Muhammad, there is seven. Some statement says 10. Some they say 800. But, uh, you know, uh, as copies, I don't, I don't know many. There is nobody knows really how many different Qur'an there is. Uh, Hassan Noor, I don't have time for stupidity, my friend. You love Biden. What does this have to do with my uh, channel? So I will give you a warning. If you keep talking about Biden, I will block you. Go to Biden channel, you know. He's there. He accepts donation. Why don't buy the art of his son? So one more time you post about Biden, I will bide in you. Literally. Do we have any Muhammad and have the courage and the knowledge to call me? Anyone? Was Muhammad sincere? He was a sneer, not sincere. You know what sneer mean? I mean a person, he is sincere. He go to his own son wife when the husband is not there and he flirt with the wife. And do you see how sincere he is? Muhammad is sincere, but he made, and his wife Khadija, they made the father of Khadija drunk to fool him that they get married, which means Muhammad's marriage is invalid. It was by whiskey, black label. This is how sincere Muhammad is. Any Muhammadan here? Who want to tell us about Muhammad, Mr. Sin Mr. Sincere, Prophet of Allah? Anyone? Do you think Muhammad is exist? 
uh, you know, uh, uh, no, I mean, uh, he's exists or not, but we have to deal with the fact that there's a lot of idiots believe in him. So for the sake of idiocy, idiocy, that's a, I don't know if I just created a new English word or something, but it's possible, you know, uh, Jibril inspired me now. Uh, so if there is a lot of idiots believe in Muhammad, well, then he exists, at least for them. I mean, who cares? At the end of the day, I'm not a historian to prove or disapprove, and even historian, they can be wrong, they can be right. Uh, however, there's not too much really evidence about this guy Muhammad. I mean, Muhammad is not, it's not a name, it's a title. Muhammad is a is a is a name mean or let's say word mean the praised one, and there is no way this is the name. Even their book says that when her grandfather he gave birth to him, I mean the mother, uh, the grandfather he called him Qatham, because he have an uncle he died before him. So usually when a person die in the family, the first born baby, they give the new baby the name of the previous person. Ani Muhammadan. Somebody saying, I wish I have a power like you, CP. My friend, eat carrot. Here we go. Huh. You eat carrot? I can see from a distance of like a thousand meter away. I can read the license plate from long, long distance. You can do it, you know? But don't drink amal urine. I'm warning you. However, uh, anyone, by the way, let us switch our topic as long as there's no Muhammad. And let's talk about something have nothing to do with Muhammad or Islam. We'll just talk about medicine, medicine. That's it. I decided to switch to be a doctor today. All right? Okay. All my life, I wanted to be a doctor. But I don't want to go to the university, you know. So I said to myself, let me take a driving license. That is a license. And then you can drive people crazy with your medicine, you know. So, you know, I, you know and then I open a clinic. <clears throat> and any person is sick, come to me. I have one medicine for him. And trust me, or trust me or not, or who cares, I, I will send the Mujahideen after you. Anyone, any disease, any illness, cancer, diabetes, sharbiti, takatiti, I don't care. I have one medicine for everything. It is the negla seed. You come to my clinic, I don't even ask you to do what, like, what's your problem? No, 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 no. I don't ask you even what you feel. No. What is the pain? No need. Open your mouth. I put you in the corner like you know, a basketball. And I grab one, just one. Because I cannot waste them. They are priceless. I grab one negla seed. And I throw it in your mouth. Bingo. You are, like, what's the problem? You want to be young again? Like me? Negla seed. You want to be smart like, uh, not like me. That's not pre -rock. Hey, by the way, how come you are taking like I see this not working? Okay, anyway, there's no different time. So, any any problem you have in life, I give you Nagla seed is going to fix it, except death. And I ask myself, since when death is a disease? <laughs> so, my friend, why you want to have a health insurance? Why you want to have a doctor? Go to Alibaba. Peace be upon him. Amazon, eBay. Go to the grocery store, find Nagla seed. Just do Nagla seed. What do you have? What's your problem? You can't have kids? Nagla seed. You, uh, your wife, she don't like you? Shuffle the Nagla seed in her mouth. Hmm. Oh boy. Are you Muslims? Is that true? Negla seed can fix anything? 
So what this drama about the vaccine and you know, just take Nicholas seed, man. You nearly are waiting in the chat. Okay, my friend, keep waiting. I'm going to send you a Nicholas seed so you can fix your Skype. I just blocked you. Stupid. Hey Muslims, where Muhammad he got his knowledge from? Is it true really the Nicholas seed can fix everything? Hmm. <clears throat> A, a person says to me in Skype, hey, uh, I am a Christian, but I can pretend to be Abdul. Well, my friend, now I have to block you. We don't do what the Muslims do. We don't pretend. Let me block you. Imagine, imagine how stupid some people are. I mean, what? Can I, but I can pretend to be a Abdul. Really stupid or what? What does that mean? What does that mean? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You are no Christian. Let me block you. How you call yourself a Christian and then you are a liar? Ah, uh, you, you Neil is uh, is texting me in Skype. Oh, okay. Let us see. Hello. Mute, uh, mute you too, please. Hello. How you call yourself a Christian and then Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Yeah, uh, your your Neil is uh, is. Mute YouTube. Time. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Listen to me in Skype. Yes, I can listen to you. All right. So what do you say to us, Mr. Yonil? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. All right. What do you want to say to us? You are excited to call me and debate me, and I'm happy to hear you. Go ahead. Uh, first of all, yeah, I'm here only to defend Quran. I'm not here to defend Hadith, okay? Oh, uh, okay. So why, like, you don't like the Hadith? You think the Hadith is a scam? Yeah. Ah, I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't match with the Quran. Yeah. Okay. So, but isn't it the Hadith is what your Prophet said? First of all, I'm not a Sunni. I don't uh, don't. So uh, so so, so what is your what is your religion? Uh, I I would consider myself a Muslim in the sense I believe in the Quran. Quran uh, is true. Okay. The Quran you believe only in the Quran, correct? Yeah. So you, you so you will not give me any information except from the Quran. Do we agree? Yeah, sure. What is the first wife of Muhammad? Who is she? It's not important. The I mean uh, Okay, what who, who who Okay, not important. Who is Muhammad? Muhammad is the recipient of the Quran. No, no. Who is Muhammad the person? Muhammad if you want to go by the tra traditional account, there are a lot of... No, 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 no. Remember, you said only you take the Quran. Don't tell me if you want to go. See, you are a Muslim who don't who don't agree with any of those books. So now I'm asking you that you like only the Quran. The Quran says uh, Muhammad is a messenger, correct? Yes. And all messengers before him, they pass away, correct? Yes. All right. So who is Muhammad? Muhammad is a, I mean, Arabian prophet. That's all. You know. How you know he is Arabian? We have historical evidence to prove that. Yeah. We I thought you believe you. Ha I thought you believe only in the Quran. What the historical? The only historical is Al Bukhari. See, first of all, I'll tell you. Huh? I believe in the Quran, but we try to reconstruct what, who was Muhammad. I mean, what was, uh, how did the, how did Islam emerge using historical critical method, not. Uh, both the traditional method of uh, Sunni and other Muslims who have, uh, I mean, uh, their sources 200 years later. Okay, and this is why, this is why you cannot give me the sources to tell me who is Muhammad. You have to give me the sources which you trust yourself. So I'm asking yeah, you now, we, from, we, we from, the Quran, from the Quran, from the Quran, who is Muhammad? 
from the Quran, yeah, we don't have much personal details about Muhammad, but we know he is the recipient of the Quran. Okay, so what you are telling me, you know nothing about Muhammad except he is a person who received the Quran, correct? The veracity of uh, whether uh, Muhammad is a true prophet is dependent on the Quran. No, no, this is another. This, this is not. This is not the question. You see, I don't, you are not listening. So the person Muhammad, the person Muhammad, the person, the human. Yes. You know nothing about him. All what you know, he is a man. He received Quran. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. We know something, but it is based on traditional account. I hesitate to trust the traditional account because. Okay. If I trust, but I isn't it? But isn't it? Isn't it the Quran itself? Isn't it the Quran? Is uh, you know? Do you have the Quran with you in Arabic? I don't know Arabic, but uh, I okay. No, do you do you have any Quran in Arabic, like the one they print in Saudi Arabia? They give them for free. Yeah, I have Quran, uh, Arabic Quran also. Okay, I, don't use I want you to open it, and you can see there. It says there is a page. It's called page number A. Yeah. Page A. It says, uh, "This Quran." I don't know if you can read it. This Quran is according to, according to, starting with who? Do you know? Yeah, tell, uh, tell me. Yeah. No, you tell me, you tell me. I don't, uh, currently I don't have a physical copy. It's not, uh, I can look in online somewhere. If okay, you guide. the most popular Quran is Quran okay. of Hafs. The Quran, the Quran of Hafs. But the Quran of Hafs, the Quran of Hafs, is a Quran exists 200 years after Muhammad. Yeah, I know about that. So how you say to me you don't accept the Hadith because it's written 200 years after Muhammad, but you accept the Quran which is coming 200 years after Muhammad and we don't even have the Quran. They claim that this is according to the recitation. They don't know. They don't have a book of Hafs. They never have a book of Hafs. Wait, wait, wait. I understand what is your issue with it. First, let us take it as uh, this is the original Quran. For Assume, for example, leave the other considerations. Now, let's test this Quran, whether it has any contradictions, any problems, then we'll, uh, then we'll discuss. No problem, no problem. We are going there, my friend. It's not an issue. But you see, but, I'm trying to show you that you are contradicting yourself because when you want, you, you know... No, you, no, no. See, see, here, I'll tell you why. Because uh, I follow many scholars, I mean, many uh, linguists and all. You know, Marijn van Putin? Who? Uh, he is a Dutch scholar who's studying, I mean, Kirals of the Quran. He's, 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 he's from where? Uh, he's from Netherlands. Okay. Yeah, so he, he believes uh, whatever traditions have, I mean, preserved whatever the Kirals, they all lead back to the uh, Uthmani Codex. Got it? All, but there is uh, no codex of Uthman. How they can lead to Uthman codex, but you don't have a zero codex of Uthman. This guy is an idiot. See, see, see. He's not saying we don't have. He's saying we don't have. But yeah, using all the, I mean, evidence. My friend, my friend. I mean, I, I mean, look, look what you are saying. Using the evidence to prove that this is goes back to Uthman or a codex, but you don't have Uthman codex to compare it. That is a stupid statement. If I to compare to to be able to be sure. Then I have to find uh, the, the codex itself, you know, the Uthman writing, uh, at least some of it, you don't have any, my friend. Okay, okay, let, let's, listen, 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 listen. So you are saying to me, you, you listen only to the Quran, you don't listen to uh, the Hadith. I want to ask you, what, what, what? I don't uh, consider it, I uh, disregard. If I consider a small part, I'll have to consider other part because I'll be criticized for using this part of Hadith. That's why... I, Discarded completely. I got, All right. Got it. Which country are from, from, my friend? Uh, I would um, uh, sub subcontinent. That's all I will. Really, okay. You know, Indian subcontinent. Okay. The, uh, let's say you are in India or Pakistan. Okay. Or Bangladesh. So I want to ask you about, as long as you don't want to talk about the hadith, uh, the topic today is about that, you know, we saw a bunch of Indonesian ustad uh, and they have a bunch of books behind them. All of them they are in Arabic. And the Quran, and you said to me, you agree with the Quran. In chapter 14, verse number 4, Muhammad said, claiming that Allah told him this, we never send any messenger except in the language of his people to make things clear to them. 
Do you agree with this logic? Do you agree with it? The logic? Yeah, I agree with the logic. Yeah. So how Muhammad is a messenger for you and you are from Bangladesh? See, you don't understand. Uh, the Quran also claims the uh, Quran is a revelation for all mankind. But to understand initially, it has to be said in some language. So uh, to understand, uh, first, the recipient community has to understand. Uh, that's why it's revealing Arabic. And Arabic is not a special language according to Quran. Uh, Arabic was only sent on because uh, the recipient was uh, among the people of Arabs. So it's not a special language like uh, this Sunni Muslims claim that it's a divine language. Uh, God speaks uh, Arabic and all the song nonsense bogus. Got it? Hmm. You are done? Yeah. You see, uh, I think you are the smartest in the family and I can tell. I mean, you give me an amazing answer. But it says here to make things clear to them. So why yeah. he gave it in the language? Hold on. Why he gave it in that language? Because he is sending a messenger. He is sending a messenger. He have to be from the people, speaking the tongue of the people. And the purpose is, if you don't speak their tongue, the message will not be clear. So what you did, you told me, Okay, because the recipient is an Arab, so the Quran in Arabic, but the Quran doesn't say what you are saying. The Quran is saying, we never sent, let, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. We never sent a messenger, except in the language of his people. So, based on what you said, all the messengers before Muhammad are international too. Because all of them, they have received a message in their language. Same time, same time, the Quran confirmed that the message will not be clear unless you receive it in your tongue. Now I'm listening. Go ahead. See, see, see. First of all, uh, Quran claims whenever the messengers are said in uh, P, uh, is a language of their own people, messengers' own people. Hmm. So, but Quran is a special revelation since it speaks to uh, all mankind. It claims to speak for all mankind, uh, guidance for all mankind. That is the di distinction it makes and is the last revelation. That's the distinction it makes. Uh, but what does this have to do with my question? Yeah, what was the You are telling me, you are telling me it's a revelation. You are telling me last revelation. You are telling me uh, it's uh, for all mankind. And okay, yeah, okay, hold on. But the Quran is saying that we never send the messenger except in the tongue of his people because if we don't do so, it's not going to be clear to them. So now the Quran came in Arabic and you don't know Arabic and you are not an Arab. So the Quran is saying if you are not an Arab, this message will not be clear to you. Wait, wait, I, I know someone, I follow, uh, I mean, I follow someone who has studied Quran for, I mean, uh, studied Quran for eight years, and he has made a own, his own translation. His name is Sam Gerens, okay? My friend, are you crazy or what? Are you taking drugs? What does this have to do uh, with my question? So you are telling me a guy, he learned from an atheist how to understand the Quran? I mean, who is crazy here? Listen, listen, my friend, my friend, what are you doing about what you, you are reading translation now? So the translation now, okay, let, let me ask you, as long you are agreeing with, do you agree with the translation? Yeah, I agree with the translation. What, trans translation. what translation you agree with? Oh, I can send you the link of the website where you'll find the translation. No, no, tell me the translation you like, which one? Yeah, it's a translation uh, in the website by Sam Gerens. That, that's the translation I use. Sam Gering? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you, I mean, uh, just type Quranite.com. I don't, okay. Quran, Qur oh, hold on, hold on. Quranite.com. Quran.com, Sam Gering. No, just Quranite, Quranite.com, Quranite. Quranite.com? Yeah, yeah. Sam Gering. No, no need to type Sam Gennis. Just go to YouTube if you want. His channel is there, YouTube channel. Uh, you can find the link in uh, his website link in the description. Okay. Some, some Garang translation. Let us see. No, I do not know. go to YouTube. What's YouTube? I want to see the translation. You will see the translation yeah, in YouTube. YouTube channel, you can find a link. It will be easier if you don't find the... Uh, okay. Just oh. type kurunai.com. Don't type Sam Gennis in Google if you want to search the website link. Got it. Hold on. I never heard of this guy, but but uh, I believe it's going to be a good laugh. 
no he's a uh, he's a quite an honest guy he is uh, i'll tell you his uh, i mean back story i mean backgrounds he is a english writer uh, he was i mean he moved to russia in 1990s after the collapse of soviet union and uh, he studied real politic and communication public relations what is the name of his translation does it have a just, name no j- why do you type sam grins in google just type kurunai.com you'll directly go you'll find the link on the top Uh, type 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 the address for me. I will. I don't click at links, but you can type the address for me. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll type in the YouTube chat. In Skype. Okay, type it in chat. Okay, type it in Skype. You can type it in Skype. Here, okay, Skype. I'll type it. Okay. Chat. Um, he has found solution for mysterious letters also. Uh, okay. Muqaddat of Quran also. I he, I I have I have a solution for all of those long before he was born. But yeah, uh, but, uh, but uh, anyway, 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 my friend. No, 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 wait, wait. Don't be so hot. See his evidence. He has he has uh, got a proof, I mean, I mean, explanation for Muqaddat. Why it is there in the Quran also. And he presents as a proof. See he got the uh, link uh, I mean, this right, Quran.com. Okay, well, you know, he don't have the book in his book. You know, you have to download PDF file. No, it's free. It's free for download all. Mr. Yeah, but I don't. Da- I don't download things. You know, I don't know. Like this is download. Doesn't sound good no, for me. You and me, I can download it. And then you click a download. It says forty dollar, forty pound, sixty pound. No, no, go, go down, go down. You'll find free. It's not a. Uh, okay, my friend, free. my friend. I want you to read for me. I'm not going to uh, to read it. You tell me. I will trust your reading. Yeah, I have, I have the reading with me. Okay, want. I want you to go to the following verse in his book. You, you have his PDF file. Yeah, I have, I have opened it. Yeah. All Tell right. Me. And you said he is an honest. Pro- he, he know, he know Arabic. Uh, yeah, he has. No, he. Uh, yeah, I, I think he knows Arabic. He studied Arabic. I mean, for eight years. Huh. Um, now he basically covers okay. the conspiracy. Okay. I want you to read for me chapter twenty-four, verse number forty-three. Here's a translation. Chapter twenty-four, verse forty-three. Forty-three. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What do you want? Um, Just read it for me. Okay. Does thou not see that God drives the clouds, then He brings them together? Then he makes them a mass, and thou seest the rain come forth from the midst of it, and he sends down from the sky from mountains therein of hail, and he strikes therein, therewith whom he wills, and turns away therefrom whom he wills. The brilliance of his lightning almost takes away the sight. Okay, repeat for me the part about the hail. Where is the hail coming from? Hail, uh, wait, yeah. He sends down from the sky. Um, uh wait 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 uh, and he sends from the sky from mountains therein of hail hmm. so do you agree that hail is coming from mountains in the sky he sends down from the sky from mountains from the sky from uh, uh what is your understanding of the verse what is he trying to say my, my friend what's wrong with you I just asked you the question. Do you agree that hail is coming from mountains flying in the sky? No, I don't think so. No, no. no. What do you mean you say? So you told me you agree with this translation. You like this translation. You gave me a speech about this translation, this amazing yeah. translation, and now you don't agree. So, and you said to me you don't agree with the hadith. You agree with the Quran. So the Quran says the Quran says that Allah He sent hail from mountains, which is in heaven. See, see, you didn't understand the verse. What is he saying? No, I understand the verse. He understand the verse. He sent hail from where? No, 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 no. I'll read it again. And he hmm. sends down from sky, comma from mountains, therein of hail. Aha. Uh-huh. So what? So where is the? What is the hail? It's coming from mountains. How old are you? Are you a kid? It's not clear here. What do you mean not clear? Look, look. You see the stupidity. You told me the Quran is international. I said to you, in order to make the message clear, Allah have to send it in your language. And now the excuse is not clear here. And you are the one who choose the translator and the translation in the web page. 
And the second I ask you the first question, you are in trouble and it's not clear here. First of all, I'm not an expert of Quran. I'm I don't care if you are expert or not. Allah did not send the Quran to the expert. Allah sent the Quran to all mankind. No, no, wait. I, I'm not claiming to Don't tell me I wait, wait. Listen, the verse is so clear. Allah sent hail from mountains in heaven. I mean, even this one need expert. The verse is very simple. The word is so clear. Where Allah, he sent hail from? He sent it from mountains in heaven. And now you want to make a drama about it. Oh, okay, I'm not expert. Now, now you will try to duct tape and give excuses. So in the beginning, from the first time you call me, you said to me, I don't agree with the hadith. So you thought you are protecting yourself now. Oh, here we go. I have not closely examined this verse, okay? I have not closely, I mean, looked at this verse. I, see, I'm not, uh, I've not studied for a long time Quran. Uh, I don't so care, my friend. I do not need to be studying the Quran for long. You choose the interpretation, the, the translation. I said to you, which one you want to read for me? You choose this one. And now the translation you're reading for me is giving me an answer, which is making Islam stupid. What kind of God do you think that there is hail coming from mountains in heaven? Did your God Allah watch the movie Avatar? Yes, can you hear me? No, I cannot hear you. You are not talking. How I can hear you if you are not talking? Give me the answer. I'm How? not clear about this. No, it's clear. You are trying to defend. Listen, listen, you are not being honest now. What do you mean not clear? So you told me in the beginning that there is no need for the Quran to be in my language because somebody else will make it clear for me. I ask you who? You said to me, this guy. I said, okay, let's go to this guy. Then we open this guy and you give me the drama and you open his website and I ask you to read the verse and now you are reading the verse of your choice of your translator and now you are saying to me it's not clear. So I was right. The Quran cannot be clear unless it's in your language. But even such a verse which is very simple, the Quran saying Allah he sent here from mountains in heaven. Now you are claiming that I cannot answer you because it's not clear. What clear about it? What do you mean not clear? Allah he sent here from mountains. There's mountains in heaven. Allah, he sent hell down from there. Your God is a Mickey Mouse God. Cartoon. Harry Potter. Okay, fine. Uh, um, maybe let's go to the next verse. I am not clear about this. Uh, I think. Uh, ah, let us go to next. Stupid. Are you asking me to go to this second stupid thing or like what? So, do you agree with me? Okay, hold on, hold on. See, so, I'm not, I, see, I'm not, I'm giving a benefit of judgment to you. I'm not. I'm we not are sure. talking about the same verse for the last 15 minutes. Are you telling me all this time you could not come to clear answer? Why? Simple. Allah is in hell from mountains. How come? It's so complicated for you. I will tell you what is complicated about it. You said to yourself, this is stupid. I cannot agree with it. In the same time, I cannot disagree. I'm a Muslim. So I have to skip it. I will tell him, it's not clear for me. And I hope he will not insist too much. And I will ask him to skip for the second verse. No, 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 not second verse. Uh, see... Maybe I'll respond to you later. Uh, okay, later. let us move to the verse after it. Let us skip this one. Okay. Verse verse number 45. Read it for me. And God created every creature from water, and among them is what goes upon his belly, and among what is among them is what goes upon two legs, and among them is what goes upon four legs. God creates whom he wills. God is powerful over all things. Mm. So the translation here is a stupid translation because it doesn't say goes on his belly. It says yemshi. Yemshi means walk. What kind of God he say there is a creature walk in his belly. Nobody walk in his belly. That called no, the creep. Listen, let, let me translate for you. This is called creep. Creep. You don't walk in your belly. Creep. The he says ghost. I said ghost. Among ghosts, this is his among stupid ghosts. translation. That's why I'm saying to you, this guy is using Google translation. He's an idiot. He's copying somebody else. Yemshi is the is the word in the front of us, not ghost. Secondly, I want to examine your knowledge with the biology and the uh, insect word. Did you read with me 
that Allah created the following animals, creatures. Some walk in their belly, some walk in two legs, and some walk in four. Do you agree with that? Um, yeah, I don't see any problem here. Huh? So what about the rest of the insect and the animals? That's it? There is no, only... Wait, wait, wait. He didn't mention, uh, here the verse doesn't mention that God it lists all the types of creatures, all the... Uh, it just lists few which are commonly known, which people can recognize. Which ah, are why we cannot recognize the rest? No. See, but... See, you can always say that this verse doesn't mention. Even in Bible, if you can say, why does uh, this version uh, verse doesn't mention extra things? You know? So now we uh, 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 mention, you know? So your God, he is saying something very weird. So uh, now we skip it, right? And you will notice, my friend. L listen, listen, listen. I just, I just discovered something. Did you notice with me that your friend he is copying big tile translation? It's word by word of big tile translation. Yeah, no, I think he's uh, he's using big tile. He's using big tile. You told me this is a translation. He's an idiot. He's a liar. Then he's using many translations. He's using many, and he's using his own. Wordings and his own best, which he finds <laughs> so, best. So he is lying. This is not his translation. This is no, Big no, Tal no, translation no. because I was reading, he I was reading what you are saying and what he is saying, and this is Big Tal translation. It's word by word. So he's copying Big Tal and he is claiming this is his translation. Oh, hear me, hear me. All right. He mentions the Quran, I mean, PDF okay. website. Okay, forget about him. I want you. I, okay, listen. Okay, listen. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Listen. I want to ask you. Yeah. Do you know anything about how baby is made? Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, can you translate for me or read for me the translation of chapter 23, verse number 14? Chapter 23, verse number... Wait, wait, wait. Chapter 23... Verse number 14. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then... Then we created a sperm drop, a clinging thing, and created the clinging thing, a fleshy lump, and created the fleshy lump bones, and clothed the bones with flesh, and then we produced it as another creation. And blessed be God, the best of creators. Okay, I want to ask you, where is the word, the clinging thing, in the verse? Uh, it's alaka. This is not a clinking thing, this is a fraud, this is a blood. What a clinking thing? Yeah, he has translated as clinging. He's, an, he's a donkey. He, he's a donkey. He's a stupid, my friend. He's a stupid. What a clinking thing. I mean, all the Muslim translations say a drop of a blood which is dead. Dead, dead. Listen, listen. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. I want to go with you. If it is a clinking thing, why all other Muslim translations did not get it? You told me that, okay, Allah, he sent the Quran in Arabic to make it clear for them. Is it clear for you? Obviously, it's not. Because all the translation is saying that this thing is not a clinking thing, it's a clot of dead blood. Yeah, clinging thing is, I mean, you can understand blood clot is a clinging thing. A no, clinging there's no thing clinging thing. things. There is the word the clinking thing is not exist, Mr. Thing. You know the thing, Joe Biden? You know the thing. What are you talking about? The word the clinking thing is not exist in the verse. Read with me. This is your Muslim translation. All of them, they agree that this is a dead yeah. blood. You can differ from the translation, how they translate it. What no, 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 no. You see, in order to translate it in such a way, you have to find me the Arabic word that says a clinking thing. If we go right now to the dictionary, halaqa is not a clinking thing. Halaqa is a dead blood. Dead blood, literally, not a blood. Dead, solid blood. This is why your Muslim translation explains saying a piece of thick, congregated blood. Do you see it? It's in the yeah, screen. I know. I, I see, I know the translation it comes in. Okay, so the first, the first thing is what? Is a sperm. The second thing is a blood. The third thing is the lump of a flesh. The fourth thing, uh, by the way, this is the same thing as transforming. According to science, do the sperm become a clinging thing? And became a baby? No, 
Aber falls ich das fühle, ich teste viel mit Ohm. Hä? Ja. It has to fuse with the egg, then the transformation. Yeah, but the verse saying here, the nutfa is the one who will become a baby. The nutfa itself will become a dead blood, and then the dead blood will become a lump, and the dead lump become a flesh, and then the flesh, and after that will become a little lump of a flesh of bones. And then, by the way, this is all fast translation, but I will go with it. And then we close the bones with the flesh. So according to the Quran, your semen become a blood, and then the blood became a uh, uh, dead blood, and then that became a flesh, you know, or little uh, uh, a lousy thing like a little bone, and then that thing will become a bone, and then after that we close the bones with the flesh. Do you agree with that? Yeah. See, see, uh, uh, this verse is not clear why, because uh, it doesn't explain the, if each process, uh, if you believe, I mean, the scientific process clearly like a fusing of egg, it just mentions how this transforms without mentioning the next part what 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 in the in the scientific translate in a transformation it says that yeah. the semen will become a baby no no semen no it's not ex this uh, verse is not a detailed explanatory ah i mean all these details is not details it says the semen the nutfa will become yeah. The, the semen itself, and then you're telling me not details? It doesn't, mention, it doesn't mention how it becomes, just mentions how it becomes. Okay, how it be, no, I don't care how it becomes, I don't care how it becomes, but does the semen become blood? No. Does the semen, does the semen become a baby? No. Is the last thing in the creation of the baby is the first, as you see, all of this is to make bones, and then we close the bones. Wait, wait. The process uh, the this verse is alluding to is in a woman's womb. It's not a uh, outside semen somewhere. Else. I don't care if it's in the womb or in her nose. Do the semen become blood and then the blood become bones? Oh no, I don't. No, no, no. So how this is see, happening here? See, if you are saying it's blood, I mean the translation there is a problem. What do you mean by blood? Okay, this is what the halaqa mean blood. By blood, conjugated blood. Uh, I don't know. Here I'm taking as clinging thing. Stomach. Ah, clinging thing. Cling, cling. You like a clinging thing, don't you? Okay. Do you cling in the bus when you go? Okay, let's move to something else. You know, okay. but by, by the way, I just hold on. I receive a message. Yeah. Oh, my grandfather, he passed away long, a year ago. It's my mom, sorry. He, he passed a year, a year ago. And my mom did not notice that he is dead because he died standing. What? What? Well, uh, my mom, she is saying that my grandfather, let me read it carefully because it's not clear. You know, she speaks Arabic, she don't speak Spanish. Uh, my, she is saying, your grandfather, he died last year. And we did not notice that he is dead. Sorry, we did not tell you because today we just found out that he is dead. For he dies standing holding a stick. Wow. Okay, sorry for interrupting you. I mean, this is an urgent message. Okay, it, fine. Wait, is it real? Yeah, this is what she is saying, you know. Is your grandfather whose grandfather? My grandfather, he died last year, she is saying. And he was standing holding a stick. This is why nobody in the town noticed that he's dead. Wait, uh, who is told, I mean, typing and texting to you? My mom. Wait, why now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's texting me. You know, she said my grandfather. She's apologizing for not telling me about my grandfather. He died died last year, but now they found out because he was standing holding a stick, and nobody noticed that he is dead. Okay. What do you think about uh, this? Is can be a true story? You think? I don't know. I think you're making this up. I don't know. I'm making these know. things up. Are you making fun of my mom now? I'm just thinking, I think, I think. Yeah. You think I'm making things up? Yeah, suddenly why we were, we were, we were uh, I mean, going through the verses, you suddenly said someone texted you. Why would your mother text about something which is one year before? Well, he just, he, she just found out that he's dead. He died last year and nobody noticed because he's holding a stick. You don't know she that people, if, huh? She, she wouldn't text you, I mean, 
he, why would she find out now? He, she, it ha, it be, have been, because he was holding a stick. He was holding a stick when he died and nobody noticed. So he was dead for a year. After one year. Okay, fine. Leave this discussion. Okay, let's move to the next one. No, no, no. Why, why the story is not convincing for you? you, you just let me know. Because it was quite sudden and uh, it sounds quite fishy and it's not... Reasoning is not proper. Mm. Well, my friend, this is a story in the Quran. Okay, fine. Tell me. Okay, fine. Tell me. It's not my mom. It was in the Quran. So according to your God, nobody noticed that Solomon, he passed away because he was holding a stick and a year go by and the termite you know how fast the termite they are so slow it took them a year man to eat the stick and then everybody noticed that he's dead because he fell down which verse can you i mean uh... chapter 34 verse number 14 Chapter 34, verse number 13. Mm. Chapter 34, verse number? 14. 14, okay. <coughs> this is, okay, wait. I'll read the verse mm -hmm. according to this translation. And when we decreed death for him, there indicated his death to him only a creature of earth eating at his staff. And when he fell down, it became clear to the domini. Mm. So what do you so think? Domini, you, when I told you... Dominis al -jain, that had they no, but known the unseen, they would have not tarried in the humiliating punishment. Mm. Amar Rabbi Amar. So what do you think now? So the genie, who they are genie, they are very they fast, they are so smart, they did not notice, they did not notice that he is dead because he was holding a stick. And the termite, this evil termite, they start chewing his stick, took them a year, and then he fell down. Wait, here al jin okay, it's not genie. According to... According genie to is al, al jin. don't be stupid. It's not Jen, uh, Jen, Abdul, listen, Jen is the the correct word is in Arabic. There's nothing it's called genie. Are you ignorant? There's nothing no, there's nothing called genie. There's nothing called genie. In okay, Arabic, in not, Arabic, not, there's not, only one word, Al Jin, Al Jin, Al Jin. There's no I'm genie. Saying, I'm saying Al Jin is not a genie. Uh, uh, someone imagines that it's, No, the, um, no, the genie yeah. is the same as the jinn. It's the same. Genie in the bar. No, 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 no. Anyway, don't change my topic now. I don't care if it's a jinn or not, with the tail without tail, with ears without ears, with antenna without antenna. This is not the topic. You when I told you this when I told you the story, when I told you the story, it sound you said to me it's fishy. Doesn't make sense how she did not find out after a year how that happened. He's holding a stick, so what? So it took them it took them it took them long time to eat his stick. This is a king, he have a stick. He dies standing, holding the stick. The termite, they will eat his stick in a day, in a two. No, of long time also here. no this is your prophet. Your prophet, he explained it. And your scars explain it. It took them more a year. See, see, wait. wait. See, I don't go to the tafsir. Tafsir is uh, going to all sorts of material. I don't it's care then. Then you tell me, based on your understanding, how long it take a termite to destroy a king's stick. We decree death for him. They indicate death only. Only a maybe it's a special creature. They, it's a mention of only creature. It's a termite. Death. It's a termite. They are eating his stick, chewing his stick. Okay, termite. Okay, okay. But there's no mention of decree time. Which how how much amount of time? And it take long time. time. It take long time. Uh, you know. Uh, no, there is no need to mention it. No problem. Uh, those termites, they will take them. If you give them a piece of wood, will take them more than a year to eat it. More than a year. Wait, wait. You are assuming it's a termite. It could be a special type of termite. Special, uh, maybe God. I mean, Doesn't matter. Termite is a termite. They cannot eat a steak. And same time, listen, 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 listen. I okay. Give me an answer. So how fast the termite they will eat the steak? I'm listening. 
see first of all god can uh, do miracles so termite can do faster uh, than normal stuff. don't be stupid this is cannot be a miracle because if god is making a miracle he do not need a stick to make him standing the reason they did not notice that he is dead because he's holding the stick not because of allah First of all, wait. What is the verse saying here? When we decreed death for him, there indicated his death to them only a creature of earth eating at the staff. So, uh, who is they here? According to you? Are you asking me? The, the yeah, yeah. Who is them? <laughs> them? Yeah, I'm asking you. Well, who is them? I'm just saying. I know who is them. But everybody, you, who everybody. But the, but the Quran here mentioned mentioned the genie. They did not notice. Yeah that he is dead because he is holding a stick. Yeah, and when he fell down, it became clear to the al -jin Okay, okay. No so how long? Okay, it says it says here, listen, listen. It says here because they are doing building for him, correct? Wait, you're assuming al -jin means a uh, invisible creature, a special natural creature. Okay, I'm not talking about them if they are invisible or not. I don't care. This is not the question. Why they could not? Because he's holding a stick. And why they did not? Why why this happened? Because Suleiman, he don't want them to know that he is dead so they can finish the buildings. Wait, yeah, okay. But uh, what do you mean by jinn? When you, you, when you imagine jinn, what? Don't do change the topic. I don't care. You're, you don't care. You're a prophet. He mentioned what jinn. Jinn, they can sleep with Muslim women. Jinn, they have a jinn, they have a penis. A genie can go inside your mouth. A genie can go inside your anus. A genie can sleep in your nose. A genie can sleep, can piss in your ears. This is not the topic now. Focus with me. So why the genie? No, genie is a jinn. Don't change the topic. Focus with me. So don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Why did why that those creatures? I will make you happy creatures. You know, I don't use genie. I don't use jinn. Are you happy now? So why those creatures did not notice he's dead because he's holding the stick? So why? Because he they are building for him a a a a, a, a temple. So do you think that Suleiman was dying standing for two minutes? So they can finish the temple and they will not notice that he is dead, so they will stop building? No. Where is huh? Where is, where is the mention that they're building a temple here? The verse before it. Are you blind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they are doing it. Uh -huh. But, where I know, but they're doing uh -huh. it, but doesn't mention time, right? But it doesn't take a second to build the temple. It takes them years and years. So they are building the temple. And now Suleiman is going to die. He don't want them to notice. So he decide, you know, uh, to die standing, holding a stick. So they will not notice. Wait, wait, wait. It, it doesn't mean that it is a continuation. Uh, that verse previously, is uh, when they're building, it's not, it's not referring to when uh, they're building Suleiman died. It's, uh, may, it's saying afterwards, sometime later. Okay, listen, 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 listen. So I want I want you to tell me and be honest. Do you think that Suleiman he dies standing with the stick for how long? Five minutes, ten minutes, two hours, one day? Give me a number. He died. Uh, I think he died within a. He died within a day. Yeah, within a day. So okay. So the day. so the smart you now you fix it. So now there's a man, he is dead, standing, and nobody noticed, but because he's holding a stick. Have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? You could imagine a scenario. I mean, it's, first of all, it's not saying one year. There's no mention of... I don't care. Let us, I, made a, I ask you, listen, listen. I ask you, I ask you, give me a, a time. You said a day, maybe a day. Okay, we will go with a day. Have you ever heard? Have you ever... Ha, listen, you said a day. You said, you chose the day. I told you five minutes. Listen, listen. Listen, I asked you. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, a day. Choose. You said to me, maybe a day. I said, okay. Have you ever... 
a day. It could be within a few hours. It could be. Okay, give me, give me. It could be, Mr. Could be, Mr. Could be, Mr. Could be. Let us say, yeah, yeah. give me, give me hours. How many hours? I can't imagine about this. I mean, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, uh, one hour, maybe one, two, three hours, something. Like okay, I will, I will take only two hours, not three, just to make it uh, easier for you. Have you ever heard of a stupid idiot? will believe that there's a guy, he dies standing and nobody notice. He's dead, he did not fall down because he's holding a stake. Your, your, your legs will hold you when you are dead? Just because you're holding a stake? And nobody notice you are dead because you're holding a stake? And then the termite, in, the termite, they ate his stake in two hours? Why, they are using a, a, a drill machine? See, first of all, see, uh, just, 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 yeah. I can't take it no more. Sorry, guys. From one year to two hours. One year. Now it is two hours. Even two, even two minutes. Who in the world want to believe such a stupid story? Who in the world would believe in such a donkey story? So this poor guy, he is trying to duct tape wherever we go. It's not clear, uh, you know. And he is the one who said to me, Muhammad, he sent international message and it's clear for everybody. I do not need the Arabic English because it's clear. And then everything we give him is not clear. Even he's reading his own translation. And you know what? My mom is the one who texts me and tell me that your grandfather, he died last year. And then he said to me, this is the main things. Sound fishy. Eh? And it doesn't say one year. You, you, this is what your prophet is saying. This is what your religion is saying. Read with me. Nothing informed them, the genie, of his death, except of the little worm of the earth, which is kept, which kept slowly groaning away his stick. So when he fell down, the jinn the gin saw clearly that he is dead. Okay, well, but for how long? How long this has happened? Let us read more. Let us see. It says here, Mujahid and Al-Hassan Al-Qutada and others, they said, he stayed like this for a long time, nearly a year. <laughs> nearly a year. So now, let us change the time. Suddenly, the termite, they can eat the steak of the king in two hours. So what's the point of this story? He extend two hours? Two hours? I mean, go to your room, close the door, nobody will know that you are dead. <laughs> go take a nap. Tell your wife, if they ask about me, tell them I am asleep. That's it. There is no need for a drama of a stake and holding the stake. <laughs> and I felt sorry for him, honestly. This guy is trying his best. He is like, what the heck is this? He think he have a religion. Those poor Mohammedan, they think they have God. You don't have God. You have Mickey Mouse. I mean, the one who wrote Mickey Mouse is more convincing than your God. Mr. Clinking things, you remind me of Billy Clinton. He clink a lot. He clink in Monica Lewinsky. He clink in everybody in his way. Mr. Clinking thing. Oh boy. From one year to two hours, but no problem. So what the point of those two hours? I mean, the point is that this guy, he, you know, those genie, they are building the building for him. He don't want them to know. Look how smart he is. So he said to himself, I'm going to die. But actually, the Quran doesn't even say he said to himself. He dies standing, that's it. So they do not notice. Those Jews, they tell their kids, kids you know, stories. For kids, the stupid Muhammad, he take it, he put it in the Quran. This is a story for kids. And the termite, they ate his steak in two hours. 
they, they are very angry termite. And I don't know even why my mom, she texts me in the middle of the night to tell me that my grandfather, he passed away a year ago. And guess what? They did not tell me all this time. And now she decided to tell me. It was your lucky day. And right away, when I said that to me, he said, this is fishy. It doesn't make sense. And he started questioning the how valid the story is. But the second we show it to him from the Quran, the story is valid. The story is good. And you start trying to give it all the explanation, interpretation. But my grandfather interpretation is not good for him. But now because the story is in Muhammad book, the yellow pages of Muhammad, it's a good story. It makes sense. Anyway, my friend, you can call me next time I'll go live. Uh, I, will, I will call this person who want to translate my book to Italiano. No Italiano, vero. Da da da. Da 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 Italiano. Da 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 No Italiano, vero. I forgot the song. There's an Italian, Italian. I mean, and the Muslim they said to you that Quran. Listen to the Quran is amazing. My friend, look to and listen to any Italian song. You will go crazy. What Quran? Stupid book. This is a book. You are you are enjoying singing. It bring you somebody have a nice voice. I mean the guy if he sing for the uh, the for the cats, you know, uh, uh, singing cats or 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 whatever, uh, uh, you will like it because you don't know what he's saying. You like his voice. Uh, all right. I'm texting the one who will translate to Italiano in Arabic. Unbelievable. I hope you have pizza. I love Italiano pizza, but I am afraid of the termite. What if I get... You know what? Thank God that the termite did not eat the sticks which the guys in the pizza restaurant, in Ital the Italiano restaurant, they are eating the stick of the pizza. How we can get the pizza out of the oven? You tell me. I mean, do you see how, and, and the termite, they destroyed the plan of Allah. Allah don't want them to notice termite, they go against Allah. I'm telling you, termite is really aggressive and they are really crazy. Never go and fight with a termite. They will eat your bed. They will eat your steak. They will terminate you. Now I know where the movie Terminator coming from. He must be a, ter a termite. A termite. Somebody asking me to marry her. Will you marry me? Why somebody thought you I'm thinking to commit suicide? Why I want to do that? I prefer to hold a stick and I am dead and not to get married. <laughs> Don't you see what's happening to people like Suleiman? Suleiman get married. Look what happened to him. He lost his mind. He decided to die standing with the stick, and here we go, the termite, and his wife did not notice. So why you want to get married? Unbelievable. True story. Anyway, may the termite be a blessing Muhammad in his grave and accompany him and give him a good company. And by the way, the prophet, he used to feel to be full of lies. Do you think those are the lies? You know, like uh, this guy, uh, what his name? Abdullah. He said, the Christian prince is lying. The prophet was so clean. And even he used to clean himself from lies. Man, this guy, he proved that I'm lying. The prophet is so clean and he cleaned himself from lies. How in the world that is not a cleaning? Man, that is really good. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for uh, uh, for being here. I will make a call and uh, we are done for today. So I hope you have a good time. Feel free to download the video, share it on your channel. Let everybody see how those... And this guy, by the way, you can call me again next time we go live. I did not hang up on you because you are a bad person. No, I hang up on you because I'm losing my patience. So, you know, sorry. I mean, what you are saying is really stupid. I want you to watch carefully again what you said. Watch the video again, read those verses again, try to study them, and then you will see that you better leave Islam. So I hope next time you call me, uh, 
you will tell me that you decide to leave Islam. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a stupid cult. Mickey Mouse stories. Harry Potter. It's not good even for kids. It's not convincing for someone to have a brain of five years old. You've been taught so and so. But Islam is something totally different from what you heard. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to make a comment about what you heard from this gentleman. Be easy on him. It's not his fault. He grew up in a society. Everybody praise the false Muhammad. Everybody praise the amazing Quran. When the Quran is nothing but a scam and Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam and we prove it every day. Take care.